Hey, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics, and today I'll be putting a net over my pond. getting it ready for winter yet, but I need to get ready for fall. Let me tell you, I was been sick for a couple days, and when I woke, when I fell asleep, so it felt like when I fell asleep a couple days ago, it was probably 85 degrees out. And when I woke up, this is hoodie weather, it's like in the 50s. I, I'm pretty sure I was only sick for two, three days, but it feels like I woke up, I feel like I'm in the twilight zone, like, what happened? But anyway, I'm feeling much better now. And what I noticed is it's fall. I have this massive tree of my neighbors. It usually dumps about 12 inches up, up to here in leaves in my property. And this tree hangs right over my house and my pond. So what I want to do before the leaves start falling, even though I'm not ready to take down the plants or cut them back or anything like that, I want to put up a netting. I was very blessed and fortunate I didn't have to put up netting all summer long, but I think right now I need to put up the netting. So I bought this when I was making the pond, protective netting, aquascape. So I'll see what there. And I wasn't sure, I can see that it comes with pegs to put into the ground. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to try to put these like little hooks in the whole uh, ramp that I have on my back porch. And that way I'll be able to pull it down. Ideally, I would have 12 foot long bamboo poles, maybe three or four of them to keep the structure or to give it structure. But I don't have anything like that. And I was gonna pick up some 12 foot long PVC, but I drive a car. So that presented a problem too. I'm gonna worry about the structure after. Oh, the sun's coming out, but it's still chilly. I shouldn't say chilly. I was watching down the wormhole, D, and she's chilly. <laughs> this is beautiful fall weather and I do like the fall season it's my birthday season so it's like what? an aquatic experiences this week so glad that I'm feeling better so let me get this pond on I'm going to flip the video around to do that um to do a time lapse and here we get going see if I can do this by myself or do I need another set of hands Okay, so I got all my hooks on. Now my daughter's gonna help me get the net on. Wish us luck. Okay, so we got the net up. And this is what it looks like from up here. Can't even tell, right? Can hardly tell. And I think that will help tremendously with this tree. This tree sends so many leaves down. Oh my goodness. And it's gonna come raining down on the pond. Which I don't mind a little bit of leaf litter, but that's way too much in that, especially for my first year. It's already got some leaf litter, so I'm not so worried about it. Plus, I still have to. Oh, I don't even know if you can see it. You can kind of see it here. So, what I did is I attached it. Let's see if you can see that. I can't walk across the bridge now. Oh my. I didn't think of that. I might have to redo this so I could walk across the bridge. There's a net going over my bridge. <laughs> I need to get to my skimmer. Well, I guess I didn't think that one through. <laughs> oh, this is only in trying to prevent, as soon as this tree that I just showed you changes leaves, it's gonna come flying down. The very first windstorm 
will be the bulk of it. I learned my lesson in the spring. Next spring, I'm keeping that net over till all those helicopters, I guess they're seeds, all those helicopters fall off of that tree because that was so ridiculously hard. So I am nowhere near preparing my pond yet for the winter. I still have to do all that. I have to cut all the plants back, overwinter some of the plants, clean up a lot of stuff. If you remember, I'm tearing down my waterfall because there's definitely a leak back there. Oh, these little guys are the only ones left outside. This little painted turtle. He's the only one left outside. Hey, buddy. So, Frankie, you got duckweed on your face. <laughs> and I'm not comfortable leaving him outside this year. So, next year, whoop, he'll be in this pond with my red ear slider. So for this winter, he's coming inside into the fish room. Well, not in the fish room, in the basement where I'm gonna keep it much cooler. So here's phase one. Not even really doing anything to get ready. I'm just trying to stop the leaves from falling. Well, I guess I can't stop the leaves from falling. <laughs> trying to stop the leaves from getting into my pond more than they already have. So thanks for checking out me putting on my netting. It was my first time putting on a netting over the pond. It wasn't as as bad as uh, I was envisioning, except for the fact that I put a net right over the bridge. And I need that, that bridge to get to my skimmer. Thanks for checking out my channel.